Hi friends, welcome back to my monthly tarot series where I give you just a little energetic snapshot into your month ahead. Um, I do four videos at the beginning of each month for each astrological sign group, so water, air, earth, and fire signs. Um, I'm a little late this month, I'm recovering from a head cold, so if you hear some sniffles or maybe a clearing of throat, I do apologize for that. But we are getting this done, we are going to see what we got going for August of this year. Um, again, these are general readings. Um, not all of this energy is gonna, going to apply to you. That's really hard to do in a collective reading, but it should give you a little snapshot into what you what energies you might be dealing with this month. Um, and yeah, I encourage you also to watch your rising sign video if you know your rising sign. Um, usually those can resonate with us a little bit more than our sun signs. So let's get into it. <coughs> Excuse me. This reading is for my fire signs, so Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries babies. Um, and yeah, let's see what the tarot had to see, say for you guys this month. Um, I'm going to preface this reading by saying there will be uh, some tough love in this reading. This was very much a tough love reading. Um, I'm, I'm feeling like with this energy, very much brain fog. Like it really feels let's pull a card for, let's show you what card came out. Um, it really feels like you're just really clouded and you're having a hard time, um, discerning things and you're probably overdoing it in a lot of areas of your life. So with the 10 of wands coming out, as you can see, he's like holding up a lot. He's kind of collapsing under the weight he's got a lot in his arms he's carrying way too much so this is just a card of like burdens hard work a lot of responsibility going on um and just really overburdening yourself so kind of just burning the candle at both ends which i feel like a lot of us do in the summertime anyways and it feels like you have too much on your plate right now so maybe looking into how you can unload some responsibilities um because there's also some other energy at play here we also had the ace of swords in reverse and this kind of stands for like kind of like i said that cloudy head feeling um rethinking an idea like you're cloudy with your judgment with people right now and you may be um, need to rethink something but you are kind of headed towards an inner clarity with this card coming out in reverse so <clears throat> while there are some clouds in your head there is a little bit of a light at the tunnel with with the ace of swords in in reverse um it's just causing you not to see things very clearly and i th i think it's because you have too much piled up on your plate too much sitting on your so shoulders right now and you need to unload some of those things um so with those two cards coming out, that's kind of the first energy I'm seeing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Another energy I'm very much seeing, we have our major arcana card, the hermit, coming out. So you may be finding you're, that you're not really wanting to be very social this month. You're really wanting to do some inner, inner explorations, especially with the Ace of Swords coming out in reverse. Um, these two cards makes me feel like... Um, you're needing to do some soul searching, some introspection, and do this alone. Like you're having to clear something is going on in your inner world. Again, I can't be super specific because this is a collective reading, but something's going on in your inner world that doesn't quite sit right with you and you need some space to figure it out. And you've been avoiding it with all these responsibilities. Um, I really do see you unloading some things this month. Um, I really, really do. You've been working really hard. There's, um, we also have the Eight of Pentacles that came out, which is also telling me that you've been working <laughs> pretty hard. The Eight of Pentacles is like mastery of a skill um, and like skill development. So doing something really repetitive. So you've been working towards something and you've been working really hard towards it. I still see you working towards this task this month, but I think... Um, I think you're, you're doing too much. I think you are working a little too hard. You're still going to be working towards this goal and you are going to achieve it, but you have all these other things that are distracting you from achieving it and mastering this skill that, that's coming out. And again, this, this feels like not everybody in this collective. When this card came out, I was like, that's not everybody. Um, 
but it very much is a good amount of you of my fire signs who are working towards being a master of something specific and a skill. Like I'm a Leo rising, so this reading really resonated with me in a lot of ways. I'm trying to get better at a lot of things and master them. And I think I might be trying too many things at once. So I definitely think that resonates with me at least. But um, yeah. And then on the flip side, so we see like a lot of introspection going on this month, right? And a lot of like unburdening of ourselves and kind of just taking time for yourself, which is kind of, we don't really do that in the summer. We're very go, go, go in the summer as human beings for the most part. Um, but really wanting you to take a step back from that energy. I do with the um, five of wands coming out. This is definitely like competition, conflict, tension. There's going to be some miscommunications here. We do have Mercury retrograde, blah, 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 Mercury retrograde coming for, forward for us this month. I believe it even starts tomorrow. Um, and that's going to cause some disagreements, some tension, some arguments. As you can see, all of these people are like competing and in like in a big tussle. These are like minor agreements because this is minor arcana card. Um, it's nothing, it's not going to be anything crazy, but I would be very mindful of how you're talking to the people around you. Um, try to take a breath before we communicate and um, maybe expect some sort of little bits of arguments here and there from misspeaking, especially with that Mercury retrograde energy going on. Um, and again, I also feel like these two cards are not everybody in my collective. So some of us, I think, might be dealing with a skill mastery. Some of, some of us are going to be dealing with minor disagreements and arguments and some tension in areas of our life. But that's not all of us. And you could also be dealing with both. <laughs> um, again, very collective reading going on here. But... Um, this kind of contribute this five of wands when it came out kind of contributed to that cloudy vision. I just feel like there's so much buzzing around in your head right now that you're having a really hard time focusing on the things you need to be focusing on with this eight of pentacles. And um, this is your outward world. So this is your more masculine side. Your, your head is so clouded that you're having a hard time working towards these things. And your inner world is calling for you to do some, to take a step back stop making plans with people, isolate yourself, and um, work on something you've been avoiding is very much the theme here. Like you really need to be focusing on something you've been avoiding, probably emotionally, um, in order to achieve these physical things that you've been working towards. <clears throat> because we got to take care of, care of our head and our heart in order to find some balance in our life, right? And I feel like we are avoiding the heart space here. Very much so. With that being said, the last tarot card that came out was the Queen of Pentacles. And whenever I see the Queen of Pentacles come out, I kind of envision like this boss babe mom <laughs> because she very much has her dream career. She is a go-getter. She gets shit done. She makes money. She brings it home. But she's also um, like so nurturing and a practical providing kind of feminine energy this is again it doesn't matter about gender but your feminine energy of your of your being is very much wanting you to have it both wanting you to have the best of both worlds so going out getting that money and then coming home and taking care of your home so you're i could even see you finding some balance between home life and work life this month and if you're a parent, I could see you maybe finding some balance juggling all the balls you have in the air. Parents have a lot going on. So um, very much can see a lot of you dealing with that kind of energy and finding that kind of balance within your feminine side. And being able to do it all is awesome. <laughs> like kind of with the Ten of Wands, these two cards coming out, I was like, okay, they have a lot going on and they can handle it, but do they have to? So you really need to ask yourself, do I need to be doing all of this in order to achieve this balance in my fem in my inner world and in my feminine side? And again, it doesn't matter what gender you are, but um, finding that balance on in your inner world is very, very important to see that success with that, ma that skill mastery that we're working towards. And then I have been pulling a herbal astrology oracle card for everybody this month, and you guys got Yarrow 
which stands for harmony it's a venus ruled herb and you can see this beautiful white crane this hand with the yarrow growing out of it i could be saying that wrong it could be yarrow or yarrow i'm not really sure there's like some blue tears going on we got the scales with the balance going on um some like bubbly looking clouds so just kind of take a moment to look at this and some of the energy imagery and see if it resonates with you um but what i wrote down for yarrow when i was reading the description and when i was kind of like connecting it to the tarot cards um it's really wanting you to find harmony and balance in your life um especially like this with the queen of pentacles like it wants you to have it all and you ha actually have the ability to have it all you can be have a balanced home life balanced social life balanced work life um you just need to set boundaries um especially if you're feeling overwhelmed in certain parts of your life this is where kind of the tough love is going to come in you need to set boundaries you need to move slowly with your emotions with the hermit card really is what it is like the hermit card paired with this yarrow I want to say I cannot decide if it's Yarrow or Yarrow, so I'm sorry for that. Um, move slowly as you navigate your emotions. Um, because emotions are more complicated and than like out, outer things, right? Emotions are a little bit harder to integrate. Um, set those boundaries. Move slowly through your emotions. No need to rush. No need to try and process them faster than is needed. Um... I also wrote stop projecting the things you're failing on on other people and I wrote that because I feel like we're doing too much and there's no way we're not failing in some aspect of our life right if you're doing too much but you need to not take that out on the people around you and then I wrote be gentle with yourself as you move through this month so I'm really feeling like there's some tension could be even just inner world tension and tension with yourself there could be tension with people around you um, and you need to be nice to yourself I tell people this all the time just please be nice to yourself it's you know we all do dumb shit we all make the wrong call we all say things we didn't mean um, especially during mercury retrograde in a fire sign so um, don't forget to set your boundaries Find some hermit mode energy this month. Give yourself some space to integrate these things. Again, I can't really be super specific in this reading, but um, I feel like we're going to, you guys are going to be integrating your, your emotions and processing them in a much healthier way as long as you set boundaries with people and find the balance, those scales. Um, but yeah. I also had a lot of themes of balance in my water sign reading, so I really think that a lot of us are feeling out of out of whack right now with everything going on in life, and then Mercury retrograde kind of shakes things up again, too. So um, set those boundaries, feel those emotions, unload all the burdens that you need to, um, stop piling shit on your plate, and it'll leave space for you to have it all and have that balance in your life. And that's your reading for August, my fire signs. Um, again, very collective reading. If you would like a personal reading, I do offer those. Um, just reach out to me. I'd be happy to work with your energy one-on-one -on -one and give you something more specific. And don't forget to watch your rising sign video if you know your rising sign, because usually it'll resonate with you a little bit more. And I think that's it. I've been loving doing these, so I love that you guys are coming and watching these and i will see you guys in september have a good august friends bye